What's up guys? Today we are doing another overnight survival challenge. You guys loved the last one, except we are leveling up this time because it snowed outside. Uh, we have to oh. survive outside. It's very cold. It's going to be very cold. What's well, going to happen? And as you guys can tell, we got Matthew, we got Caleb. Andrew, why don't you explain how this challenge works? Right. So we got the Plinko ball, okay? okay. We're going to, each person is going to take a turn and drop it down the Plinko maze, and it's going to land on one of these dollar amounts. Oh we have upgraded my. the board. So the max prize is $1,000. Lowest one dollar. As soon as someone lands on the amount, we're going to exit out. But there's also a twist to this overnight challenge. Right. We are doing team edition. Oh yeah, fellas. So since it's teams, we get to combine our budgets. So say like me and Matt are on a team, say I get a dollar, but maybe he gets a thousand. So now we have a thousand and one dollars. So the teams are me and my boy Caleb versus Matthew and Andrew. And guess what? There is a second twist. Whatever you land on, you have to spend your budget at Home Depot only. Are you kidding me? You can get groceries, of course, but all your supplies need to be at Home Depot. Okay, who rolls first, Andrew? I don't know. Who rolls first? I don't know. Who rolls first? I'll roll first. <laughs> Please, okay. Caleb, get a big baller amount. We cannot get a dollar. I'm just going to blind it. <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, oh my god! god. It's, oh, god. it's okay! Dollar. I can get a thousand! That hurts, don't okay. freeze to death. No, no, we got this. Andrew, just do not land on a thousand and me and Caleb have a better chance. Uh, <laughs> don't hit a dollar, okay? Okay. Or, or you can. Oh, you're dropping it right here? Come on, oh no. no. Shoot, shoot, no. Yeah! A dollar! Yeah! <laughs> a dollar from the blind! That's okay. Hey, hey, that's okay. Because, I don't know. It's... <laughs> you can't land on 20. $20. I'm going to be so in trouble All if right, I get my turn. Bucks. You guys remember the first one, I did get a big amount. So I'm going to do the same method I did before, which is kind of like really random. Like You cannot land, you cannot afford the $20. <laughs> you can't so, afford it. If we, go to, if we go to the $20, we're going to have to go door to door asking people for supplies. <laughs> There's just this one space I cannot land on. This one. So you could oh. drop it right here, but we've seen it make its way way over here. I'm feeling right here, okay? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. That's pretty decent. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. I mean, Home Depot things can get pretty expensive, so that's a problem. But 250 ish is pretty good. Hey, bear supplies can be kind of cheap. For real. I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, well, <laughs> let's make our way to the store and get supplies. You boys might need one of these. Me and Caleb are going to get one of these big boys. No, we're getting one of those too. <laughs> Just made it into Home Depot. Matthew, do you know what you guys want to do? Um, Insulation. Andrew, nice. do you have a method to the madness? What? Oh my. Have to get some sort of heating device. What's this? Propane heater. Two hundred dollars. That's our entire budget, pretty much. <laughs> Do you know if they have like tents or things that we could like, not build? I don't think they're gonna have tents at Home Depot. So we're probably gonna have to build everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Find two trees that are close together. Uh -huh. Build some plywood, and then get hammocks. I don't know if there are hammocks here. If that's the thing. We definitely got to be off the ground, right? Right. So if we got some two by fours, get some plywood and build on top of it. So we're like a little elevated mm -hmm. and build some walls and like a little roof. You're not going to believe this guys, but me and Caleb just literally hit the jackpot. Our main man, Chris here at Home Depot found us a seven by seven shed. We'll show you later, but we already found a moving blanket. We have a heater. This is going to be the most luxurious survival for I think you've seen, especially with the budget we got. So, okay, not bad. Maybe we should get three just in case. Yeah, three. Yeah. Have this side facing in, right? And it like reflects your heat? I or think, is that not like I think this that's, at all? I think that's how it works. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right guys, here is the hack item that me and Caleb are getting. They have to get a big forklift in order to get this thing. So like three, four, four. Yeah, maybe four. Four. I got a tip from my friend. You want to hear? Yeah. 
You take one of these packs and you put it like on your spine uh -huh. and then it goes through all your nerves and it literally warms you up. No way. It's only $5.98. I, I say we get Ooh, two. two packs for sure. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna draw out a quick plan. So this is me. Nice. Right? Uh huh. Top down view. This is the side view. Okay. Not bad. So, <laughs> so we're looking at it now vertically from the top. Okay. Oh, yeah. So this is Andy. Uh -huh. This is me. Yes. I like that. I like, I like that. Insulation is going to be all around the outside and the top. With our insulation in wood, we are at $76. We got to use that for heater. Lots of it. 70% off wood. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, guys, I think we are done here at Home Depot. It's time to check out. Hey, Andrew, we're ready to check out. Are you guys? Okay, I think we're ready, yeah. Okay, we're by the entrance we came in. Okay, also, do you know if we have screws at the warehouse? Okay. Oh, yeah. That, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like it. I literally can't wait for Andrew and Matt to see what we got and see their reaction. Before tax. Ready for checkout, boys? We're here. We're ready. Is this, is this everything, or did you guys do multiple trips? You'll just have to wait and see. We got way more supplies than they did. Not really. Yeah. They just look. It looks bigger. A thousand dollars lawn chair. <laughs> I think we should load up our stuff first. Yeah, I think we should as well. It's probably most convenient. Really? Forty-two sixty-seven before tax, Ooh, boys. Wait, what? Wait, we have a hundred and eight bucks left. A hundred nine bucks because of my one dollar. So we might need to load ours first, fellas. I know. Oh my. Thankfully, Matt, here it comes. Me. Matt. Sorry about that, guy. It's okay. Storage building? <laughs> How much is that? I told you I would be butthurt. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> Look! It's a shed! Seven by seven, boys. How much was this? 800? 600. <laughs> uh, it's time for food budget. We gotta get some food. From King Super. So me and Caleb have a grill. We're thinking we want to definitely grill some burgers. We got a big budget, so we can get whatever we want. Oh yeah. You guys, we are getting so much snacks, it's insane. We're gonna have a whole kitchen inside our house. We actually found some pillows. That's amazing. We got some hot dogs, some cookies. I can't get it. Okay, got it. All right, bars are set. It's good. Now, chips, let's go. Yay! We gotta get our tea kettle. Ugh. Whoa! That's right, we can make pasta and we can boil water and make some yummy tea. Look, it has like a pouring thing, so it's perfect. What are you gonna get, tea or pasta? Pasta. Okay. Spaghetti. Yes, we're back at the tea. Oh, hey, fellas. You done shopping for your food? Yeah. Except we need one more thing. We're done as well. That's a, that, that's a pot. A pot, but you're gonna make tea in it? Yeah. We're gonna make pasta that's in it too. You're making pasta. No, you're not. Time for checkout. So their food and everything are on the top, and me and Caleb's are on the bottom. All right, guys. Our budget was 75. We're at 74.33. Wow! Right up. Oh, oh. All night. let's go. Uh, guys, we may have a problem on our hands. We always do this. It is almost dark. The sun's going away. What have we done? I can see like my breath, like clearly. My breath is thick. See? It's supposed to be negative 10 degrees tonight. And we haven't even begun building. Why are we, why are we doing this? Oh no. We messed up bad. Ours won't take long to build. Ours shouldn't take long either. The way ours designed, it's designed like a coffin. So are we just gonna actually die? Or I'm just saying. Stay tuned guys and you'll find out. Oh my. Look at this guys. Just got back to the warehouse and uh, literally inches away from pure darkness. So we gotta make our way to the campsite down there, boys. Are you ready? We did not mention this yet, guys, but all tools are included in each of our budgets. Me and Matt have to uh, cut some wood. Yeah, and also we got our wagon from the warehouse that we're using to transport all these supplies down into the uh, challenge area, deep in the woods. Like we said, we're gonna build something like a coffin. Hopefully it doesn't become an actual coffin, by the way. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna splice this plywood down the middle. It's gonna become our two walls, so imagine like, okay, so I put the halves down, boom, uh -huh. or actually I'll put the halves down here. One last one for extra one. Let's go off the ground. We're gonna have the bottom hinge out a little bit, and the ceiling. 
Uh huh. With R30 insulation. R30, guys. I don't know what that is. Yeah, we, we just learned about, about it at Home Depot. We it's almost good. we almost bought R4 insulation, which would have been very bad. It would have been terrible. Wouldn't have done anything. Yeah. But we know we're experts now on the subject. Our cabin is heavier than anticipated. Me and Caleb just tried to push it, and uh, it's not moving an inch. As you can see, we got it on the ground now, and we're gonna have to take things out one by one and carry them down. Ah! You okay? Woo! Oh, it was, a, it was a good screen. <laughs> so oh, where yeah. do you think you and Andrew are gonna build your uh, fort? So you got this giant field. We're surrounded by trees as well, so. There or there? Because it just seems like it's away from you guys, number one. <laughs> number two. I'm, I'm just kidding. kidding. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I know, just, we could be friendly neighbors. Guys, in order for us to truly survive, we have to come together as a team in order to like get heat. Right. Right now we are making a fire with wood and rocks that we have found in the middle of nowhere. And you're probably wondering like, it's snowing out. How are you gonna get all this wood? Check this out. We just found all these twigs. So we're just gonna try and get a fire going for the community so we can stay warm and not get frostbite. <laughs> Oh, dude! I found a, there's a dead tree right here, so I'm breaking off limbs of it. Oh, nice! Oh, That's heck yeah! Dang, bro! Dude, you right here! Break these off. Oh, all the, all the needles. See, you guys? Look at that! We are being resourceful. That'll light like immediately. Yeah, that's Bear Grylls style right here. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Uh, it's been like so cold that like everything's just been frozen so you can like just shake stuff off and it's totally dry Yeah, like we just showed you check this out. So it has snow in it, but look that's how dry it is it like literally It breaks zero moisture in this easily flammable <laughs> Science. Looking good this stuff is like Perfect, so we just got to get these other bigger logs to catch. It's yeah, time yeah. to create our own torches guys Who goes here? Hey! I got the, the next uh, little pile of wood. Oh, nice. What you doing over here, Andrew? I'm in our, cell, our uh, property. So this is our spot. Okay. Good space, good yardage. How many acres you got on this property? You know, it's not so much about the yardage. <laughs> oh! I'm literally lighting the whole scene by this torch. Got you. Thanks, man. Okay. Oh, dude, this is so cool. I'm already warming up just standing by this. You? Yeah. Feels so good. The coldest thing right now are my shoes. Yeah, my toes are like no bad because I, I wore my snowboarding socks and like my toes are like hot. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is our mansion so heavy? I don't know. Why'd you pick that? <laughs> <laughs> so Caleb and I have our giant manuals. We're setting it up right over here. So we're laying out all the pieces. Most of these pieces actually just click in. So it's kind of convenient. We're screwing together our fortress. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna call this? Uh, I called mine the grave last time. You said this is the coffin. <laughs> it's so much warmer than a, just a grave. Guys, <laughs> check this out. Somehow, Caleb and I are building this mansion with our two bare hands. <sighs> Having some trouble, Caleb? Oh, I got it. Nice! <laughs> Add that to that. Nice. Look at this, guys. Now we're working on the roof. Uh, it's going along nicely. <laughs> wow! It worked! Yes. Guys, just so you know, it's seven degrees outside. What? <laughs> it's supposed to warm up. By 12 a.m., it's gonna be eight degrees, so three hours. Dang, I got a lot to look forward to. Guys, it is too cold outside to even light our portable heater. So to come back to the warehouse and light it inside. We've been working for hours, and our house is basically done, so we'll give you a tour, and I think Justin and Caleb's shelter is done, so. Tours coming up. Andy did most of the work <coughs> in the house, I think. I was mostly doing the fire, but that's like the warm work, so props to Andy. Facts. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for, <laughs> it is time to give you a tour of both of our survival huts, whatever you want to call them. So first, we're gonna start with Matthew and Andrew's hut. Okay, yes. lead the way, Andrew. All right, so to remind you guys, in case you forgot, our budget was $251, and this is what we built. So be evaluating that because we want you guys to vote in the comments. Uh, first, what is this called? This is called the coffin. See? Wow. Ooh, skeddy, huh? Yeah, that's skeddy. Okay, so currently we have Mr. Buddy warming up our house. So it's getting very nice and toasty in there. So we have the walls, and then we have insulation, and then this carpet pad over top of it, and then we have one moving blanket, and then a second moving blanket is for on top of us. You just climb in there and lay down and uh, be nice and warm. I can already feel like the warmth. Do you feel that? Uh, is that like beautiful? 
I feel it, I think. But that's really about it. <laughs> um, oh, and we have our pillows. We can throw our pillows in there. Yeah. You feel that heat? Yeah. All right, yeah, go on in there. Take mommy. <laughs> Chuck them in there. Climbing in. Actually feeling pretty warm with Buddy over here. Our heater. Hey, Andy. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> so one of us is going to be lying down with our head up here. So this is Andrew's head. Mine's going to be on the other side. Put your pillow down. Pillows down, rather. And then feeling nice and cozy, actually. Just, it looks nice in there. Yeah, just lie down right in here. Yeah. As you can see, you can kind of see my breath. That's going to change once we can get the last little bit of insulation on right at the end. I'm actually pretty comfortable with this carpet pad under me as well. Oh, and hey, some snow. Yes! Is it warm in there? It's pretty warm, actually. So it just takes a minute to get out, but that's fine. I did want to make bad. one point. Bud, who was helping us pick out supplies, told us to get the rolling insulation because it was better insulation, which was good, but he also said that there was paper on one side so you wouldn't touch the fiberglass. False. There's no paper on it. It's just pure fiberglass. All right, so now that you guys saw our hut, let us know what you think, but now we're gonna see what Justin and Caleb have been up to. We have our sidewalk. You come up this way, and then you come over this way to the neighbor's house. And I think yes, you knock on the door. Oh, who goes there? Ah, uh, it's your neighbors. Hey. <laughs> hey. Feel free to just open the door and come on inside. Welcome to De La Croix La Mansion. Come inside, you like oh, okay. oh, oh. oh, yes, of course. Ah, uh, it's always an honor to have some new guests in the uh, Mansion. Let's give you a quick tour. Okay. Check over here, we got the uh, snack lounge. Snacks of all kinds. Drinks, desserts, candy, chips. Over here we have, we're going to be making burgers. <coughs> you guys have a dinosaur? How yeah, did you get a dinosaur? Yeah. We have our two heaters <laughs> in each corner. Aww. And then we have our spare glasses in case we have guests. Not you fellas. <laughs> we have our grill here. We we'll have our burgers later when we have our fine diamond. Yeah, what is uh, the dino's name? His name is Tommy. <laughs> so he is uh, to be referred as Tommy, by the way. Please don't call him anything else or I have to add to leave. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh! We forgot to show you another 40 ingredient. We have our warm blankets. Oh, and these chairs. So if we Are want you guys to... just sleeping in your chairs or how's that work? Whatever we want. We have seven foot in here so we could easily lay down. <laughs> oh, I see. Opening up the grill here. So... Oops, sorry, Tommy. Let's change colors a bit. You just tap Tommy on the head. <laughs> but yeah, because uh, we're going to have to leave because we're going to be grilling and we don't want guests here. Oh, at the moment. What if we would like to come, come over back. for dinner? What, what if what if we brought you some nice brats from Germany? Welcome to the manor! Oh, oh, oh. Right. Let's get grilling, boys! You said you have to leave though first. Oh, <laughs> it is time to grill now, guys. So we have our charcoal bag. We just wanted this in here for decorations. We're actually gonna cook outside. Fire's still going strong, guys. Hey, what do you got here, lads? I'm making some hot tea, but we forgot cups. Uh-oh, we have a cup for you. Uh-huh. Brats are being installed onto fire. Oh, oh, hot. Oh my goodness, the brats have made an appearance. <laughs> Mine's black. Matt put his into the fiery inferno furnace <laughs> Mine's and fully, charred it. <laughs> fully burned. Good though. How are the bergs coming? Got four, they should be done in one minute. All right. Got the burgers all ready, guys. We got our $10 mayo down here with mustard. And the boys have joined. What are you guys eating? Cookies. It's cookie time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're making some tea. Oh, yeah? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm having an ice cream cone. That's, That's not, not an cone. ice cream cone. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, I've never seen a cone look like that before. <laughs> ice cream in this weather is seven What is degrees. wrong with you? It's seven degrees outside, bro. Like, man, you know what sounds good right now? Ice cream. That's like a really offensive to me. Yeah. As you can see, it's 12.30. Me and Caleb are going to go to bed now. We just had dessert. I had an ice cream cone, uh, whatever it is, I don't know. It's too cold out here, I'm losing my mind, okay? Caleb is deciding to sleep in the chair. Is that gonna be warmer? I don't know. I just think it's softer. Oh, it is softer. <laughs> this guy's definitely like this. We're going to try out uh, the coffin. Right, and then if it's too chilly, then we're probably gonna put that insulation over the edge. 
kind of just drape it down and make a little like nice fiberglass curtain. <laughs> oh, that glow looks nice. <laughs> it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. In here. I come in. Yep. Uh, ah. 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 <laughs> Sorry. You're serious. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. Where's my blanket? We have to share. Oh. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It could be a lot worse. You're gonna close the front? How? Did you say with the insulation? Yeah, should we? Up to you. I'm kinda tired. Yeah, same. My feet are really cold, that's the only thing. Same. <laughs> Guys, you have no idea how cold it is out here. We have a major, major problem. I think me and Caleb may have to forfeit. All the heaters decided to turn off. Now, I'm not sure how long they last anyways, but these won't turn on anymore. It's literally getting colder by the second. Are you freezing or what? I think I'm hypothermia. <laughs> me and Caleb, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go sleep up in the warehouse because we can't handle this anymore and I don't want to have frostbite and go to hospital oh there we go so guys we're gonna go up to the warehouse it's literally 68 degrees here in the warehouse i just took off jacket and look at this i made myself a toilet paper bed where are you sleeping caleb bean bag. bean bag mode i'm sorry we tried there's just not a chance I want to last, last any longer. See, I'm losing my mind. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> well guys, it's morning now. Uh, Matt and I, we're starting to get perma-burn frost on our nose and bodies. <laughs> so we came back up to the warehouse. I don't know what time it was because my phone died. We're gonna go back down to the campsite and you guys can see what our village looks like. Daytime. Yes. <sighs> Alright, we're coming down the path and you can already see this strange village off in the distance. Wow. It looks so different during the day. Yeah. <laughs> see, I think our house... <laughs> Why is Matt's glove still here? <laughs> Our house would have been better if we could have blocked off the entrance because that's where I was getting cold from. But guys, I don't know if we said this, but our saw broke, our blade broke, so we couldn't do any more cuts and everything was just ruined. We couldn't oh. like properly finish building our, our roof, so we kind of just threw it on top. Keep in mind, both Andrew and our base took the same amount of time to put together. What? <gasps> Holy cow. My beverage is frozen. <laughs> Vanilla cream, completely. That would have been us if we slept out here. Oh, my water. <laughs> Science! Yeah. What a laugh if we came back and the roof was like all collapsed. <laughs> I know. Everything's Whoa. frozen that's liquid. That would have been your body? Yes, this was in our house. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, man. Uh, Matthew's still sleeping, by the way, and Caleb actually had to go to college class early this morning, so that's where he is. To be honest, I think the only time I actually fell asleep was after Caleb left. What time was that? Six, morning? Six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this video because it's our other overnight challenge we did. So watch that next. Or click right here to watch a video that YouTube recommends. To you. But don't forget to laugh daily and we'll see you next time. I hope you guys were warmer than us. Yeah. Why does Rick make us do this? <laughs> 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 <laughs>